Hi Sagittarius, this is your November 1st or November 7th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances. And we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the King of Cups, we have the Queen of Cups, we have the Lovers, clarified by the High Priestess and the Four of Wands. In the potential outcome we have the Ace of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance and we also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. You could be dealing with a Gemini or pretty much any Zodiac sign. This is a general reading. I like this spread. It's one of my favorite spreads for this week. Um, Sagittarius. Um, this is love at first sight or you will it will click very very quickly for you. You will very quickly realize that this person is the one for you. It could be on that same date. <laughs> the first date. Seriously. Um, first of all we've got both the King and the Queen of Cups right there and that's the way they came out and I love it. That means that the two of you are a perfect love couple. The two of you belong together. Like I said it could be love at first sight. The two of you are two lovebirds and I can just keep going <laughs> about what kind of perfect couple you two make. Then we had the lovers, right? Um, the lovers is the personal Gemini card. Uh, you could be dealing with a Gemini, but I think the lovers um, is uh, more significant uh, than we may think. And I didn't realize it right away. I decided to clarify it because um, the lovers could also be a card of a choice. Some of you could be choosing between two different people, by the way, but that's for very few of you, right? Um, but for most of you, the lovers is uh, basically your soulmate connection. Uh, this person is uh, could, could also be your twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And this person could be the love of your life. And I think that's the latter interpretation of this, the lovers card, right? The lovers is qualified by the high priestess and the four of wands. The High Priestess is, uh, in this case, uh, all about your intuition and the Four of Wands is a card of a commitment or marriage. So, you will intuitively know almost immediately or immediately that this person is the one for you. They are your soulmate, they are your twin flame if you believe in that. They are the lover of your life and that's the one you want to spend the rest of your life with. Because, like I said, the Four of Wands is a card of a commitment or marriage. So, BAM! You do not see this coming, <laughs> Sagittarius. This perfect, this person is your perfect match. That's the one for you. All right. We also have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. The Three of Cups is a card of a union, but it could also be a card of a celebration or a party or an event or a gathering. So you could meet this person at this type of an event, and uh, it'll just click. Like I said, if it's not immediate connection, if it's not immediate. An immediate realization that this person is the one for you, it's going to happen very quickly and thereafter. Right? Perhaps the two of you will get acquainted at a party and then um, you'll go home and you'll keep thinking about this person, you'll keep thinking about this person and they'll be thinking about you as well and then they will reach out to you or you will reach out to them and uh, that's it. That's the click right there. You will be inseparable <laughs> from that point on. Well, I'm over over exaggerating, but that's that's it. That's it right there. In the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles with uh, the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance. Temperance is your personal card, so you're in your own reading at least twice. You're either the King or the Queen of Cups, and also Temperance, right? It's always a good sign to have your own card in your own reading, right? And uh, the Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. Right. To me personally, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle any other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle. It's like a package. All Aces combined into one. Um, the Ace of Pentacles sometimes comes through as a proposal, but um, it is a golden opportunity for sure. Right? This, your life will never be the same. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a very fortunate new cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. So, like I said, Sagittarius, um, it's one of my favorite spreads so far for this week. I've done a, quite a few. I don't do them in a row, in a zodiac order. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This, this week I don't. Um, I'm not. But so far it's one of my favorite. This, you're a, this is a perfect match for you. This is a perfect match. And with the lover's card, it, at least your soulmate 
but it could also be a twin flame, but it could also be you, the lover of your life. You will instant, instantaneously or even instantly know <laughs> that this person is the one for you. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Sagittarius, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hangman. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Wands. Then we have the Hierophant, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, so, the first two cards on the left, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Hangman. So, some sort of a stagnation, or somebody dragging their feet feet, somebody who is thinking, somebody who is taking their time, that energy is going to come to an end, right? So whatever was holding something back is going to become a thing of the past. It could be related to a job. Perhaps one of you got a job offer, but the two of you were uh, taking your time to think about it. So this week, a uh, decision will be reached to move forward, right? For others of you, it could be a proposal <laughs> to get married, or it could be uh, some sort of an investment that the two of you are making. Perhaps you're buying a house together. Perhaps you're buying an apartment together. Something along those lines. Uh, there is definitely um, um, like a golden opportunity that the two of you are deciding to either move forward with or you're deciding to invest into or you're deciding to take, right? So the Ten of Swords, like with the, uh, with the Hangman, the first two cards, like I said, this is some sort of a stagnation that's going to come to an end. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is my card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision in regards to the Ace of Pentacles offer, right? So it could be a proposal for some of you. The Ace of Pentacles does come through as a proposal sometimes, but it could also work out or play out as a job offer that was previously made to one of you and you're deciding to uh, um, go ahead, accept it, right? And... Um, the Ace of Pentacles could also be you buying a house. <laughs> the Eight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of work, business, and finances. Or this is a card of um, working on something. Right, then the, the Hierophant right next to the deck, this is either a Taurus you're dealing with, or the Hierophant is about something uh, traditional like a committed relationship or marriage, right? So, like I said, the Ace of Pentacles could be a proposal or the Hierophant could be about something formal and official. So, if this is a job offer, if this is you buying property, then that will most likely involve signing papers. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Sagittarius, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Five of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles. We have the Hangman, we have the Four of Cups, and we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You will probably be dealing with this King of Pentacles, uh, most likely an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If it's not an Earth sign, this person is very... Uh, settle down, they don't make any sudden moves, they could be working for a financial institution. So their current status is <laughs> they're feeling left out in the cold. That's what the Five of Pentacles, the first card that came out is all about. It's clarified by the Six of Cups, this is a card of somebody coming back from the past, and the, the King of Pentacles is the person coming back. The Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, this is a card of uh, communication, right? So they will be reaching out to you, just expressing uh, how miserable they are without you, um, how cold it is outside without you, right? Um, the Eight of Wands is also a card of travel, so they could be traveling to see you, right? Um, and uh, you're not going to give them an answer right away. The hangman in the middle, this is you putting this person on hold. I don't know if you're doing it deliberately or not, but eventually uh, your answer is going to be no. Because the last card I came out is the Four of Cups, and this is a card of... Uh, rejection, right? So, um, this person can continue to feel miserable in the cold. For whatever reason, they no longer resonate with you, and uh, therefore, you're sending them back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances um, this week. Sagittarius, we have the Eight of Swords, clarified by the Five of Pentacles. We have uh, the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Chariot, and we also have... Uh, the Seven of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You could also be dealing with uh, Cancer. Um, so you've been waiting for something, and uh, that's whom the spread is applicable for, right? Uh, if you've been waiting to hear back from 
um, an employer, especially if you've already gone through um, a bunch of interviews and now you're waiting for them to let you know if you've been accepted or not, you're going to be accepted. If you've been waiting to receive some sort of a payment or money or business loan or if you've been trying to sell your car, all of that is going to come. <laughs> you're going to sell the car or um, some sort of payment or money is going to come your way. So the Seven of Pentacles, the, the card on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of waiting. That's you waiting for something. One of the things I listed. <laughs> then we have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the first two cards on the left. So you've been kind of stuck waiting for it, right? Then you've been feeling um, like you don't have enough money or you're waiting for um, a job, right? To approve, to get um, your way. And um, it's coming because uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the middle. This is always money coming in. Right, um, either a payment or um, you're selling the car because uh, the chariot could also be a vehicle. And then the Knight of Pentacles is also just some sort of a payment or government assistance for some of you, um, or this is uh, that job offer. So you're getting the job, and the, with the chariot, like I said, it could be um, a car you're selling, <laughs> or it could be uh, you're moving forward. You feel, because uh, the chariot is also one of the victory cards, so you'll feel great about this whole thing. You'll feel like you won, and uh, you're finally moving forward. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen, Sagittarius, this uh, week. We have the Page of Wands, we have the Star, we have the World, and we also have the Knight of swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. What you're not expecting is either somebody to travel to see you, to come see you, to visit, pay you a visit or what you're not expecting you could be going on a trip yourself. <laughs> right? Perhaps somebody will invite you and um, you'll come. You'll go. So the page of ones, the first card I came out, this is a card of a message. Right? A very exciting new message. Then we also have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This is the fastest knight out of all four knights. It could be um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius you're dealing with, or the Knight of Swords is, um, since it's the fastest knight out of all four knights, you could be traveling, right? Or somebody could be coming to see you, right? Uh, the world right next to the deck could be someplace remote. So again, you could be going someplace remote, you could be traveling, or somebody could be coming to, to see you, the star. Uh, the second card from the left is the personal Aquarius card. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or the star is uh, a wish come true, right? So basically, um, if somebody comes sees you, it's going to be feeling awesome for you. It's going to be a wish come true or and vice versa. If you're actually going someplace, then you'll feel like it's a wish come true. Perhaps you always wanted to go and uh, you you lost hope. But uh, this message comes in and says, yep, you're going. <laughs> this is what you're not expecting. All right, Sagittarius, so that's what I got for you for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Sagittarius, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.